You've got to tune in Listener Powered 90.3 FM KEXP and streaming online all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is Morgan. Thanks so much for joining me this afternoon. Hope you're all having a great weekend. I am very excited. I am down in our new live room. This is my first in studio here in the new live room, and I couldn't be happier to welcome Diane Coffey. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah, thanks for having us. Could we hear a couple songs? Absolutely. Awesome.
and to rush No good for you, but the old way is dying What more have we got? Except that a postcard make a happy old boy All of my life, it's my life Only All of my life, I've been down at the road of another man To me Oh, only not that easy getting by Coffee live on KEXP. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so glad to have you here. Can you introduce the band for us? Sure, sure. Uh, we have uh, Drake Ritter on guitar, and we have Caleb Hickman, Hickman on keys. We have Glenn Myers on bass, and we have Ben Lumstein on drums. Awesome. And uh, Sean, you started out as a voice actor when you were younger, and then you became the uh, drummer for Foxygen before starting Diane Coffee. How did you make that transition out of Foxygen and into your own solo project? Well, you know, even before Foxygen, I had always been writing my own stuff. And mm -hmm. um, that's all that first album was, was uh, just being in between tours and having uh, some spare time and, and just writing as per usual. And uh, those recordings ended up in the hands of Western Vinyl, and mm -hmm. they wanted to release it, and, you know, Dying Coffee was born. Awesome. Um, you have a very 70s sort of vibe. What are your influences? Oh, well, I mean, definitely some 70s stuff, a lot of glam stuff, uh, you know, Bowie and, and, and stuff like Hedwig and, Hed, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Oh, yeah, that's great. Uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show stuff. Uh, I mean, Meatloaf. But then, uh, you know, a lot of other people, like people like Sufjan Stevens or mm -hmm. St. Vincent, and then, you know... Uh, I mean, yeah, I could, uh, I could, I could just, you know, go on. Yeah, awesome. Did you, did you grow up on '70s music, or did you discover that later on in life? You know, I grew up listening to the stuff that my dad listened to, which was that, and as well as some kind of a, I don't even know, adult contemporary stuff. Yeah. Like, 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 you know, you remember Mark Cohen? Uh huh. Like, that that was huge. Yeah. I've seen Mark Cohen more than I've seen any other artist. <laughs> Live. I had a lot of adult contemporary oh, yeah. <laughs> growing nice. up too. There was a lot of uh, sting and simply red. In oh my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a large my sting vocabulary. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so before this uh, current album, everyone's a bad or a good dog. Uh, you were living in New York and you've uh, moved to Indiana recently. What what prompted the move to Indiana? Uh, well, the. Uh, Foxygen's label, uh, Jag Jaguar, is based out of Bloomington, so mm -hmm. that's 
you know, how that connection uh, fits in. But I was there for a couple of weeks during the Star Power sessions, and I, you know, I just fell in love with it. I wasn't really a fan of, of living in New York or really any big city for that matter. Yeah. Um, and that place reminded me of home. So, uh, you know, when a space opened up, I jumped at the chance. Cool. Yeah, I'm from Illinois originally, so I understand you know. the uh, yeah. The yeah. Midwest is really nice. It's like you get to see the seasons, and uh, everybody's very friendly, and it's more laid back. It's atmosphere. just too hot in Southern California right now. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> how did uh, how did the move influence your music? Did it change the the shape and sound of your music? You know, I, I'd I'd like to think so. I mean, I was kind of you know maybe in a dark place when I wrote that first record, mm -hmm. and you can kind of hear hear that. And and with this one, you know, it was nice and I was writing it during the spring so everything was super green and yeah you know I, I was very I'm always inspired by any type of move uh mm -hmm. so you know I'm, I'm sure that that helped and I was feeling like I was in a good place so it's a great album I love it oh thank you yeah. <laughs> everybody's good dog is out now came out in uh, 2015 and Diane Coffey playing tomorrow night here in Seattle at Barboza tonight they are headed up to the Cobalt in Vancouver, BC. So if you're up that way, make sure to see them tonight. And then uh, if you're in Seattle, make sure to see them tomorrow night at Barboza. Can we hear a couple more songs? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Diane Coffey live on KEXP.
Diane Coffey, live on KEXP. We'd love to hear one more. Sure, yeah, and thanks again for having us. Thank you. on KXP. That was awesome. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Uh, the new album, Everybody's a Good Dog, is out. Now you can get it in all record stores. Highly recommend picking up this album. It's very, very good. And if you're in the Vancouver area, they are headed up to your way tonight. They are playing at the Cobalt. And then tomorrow, they're back down to Seattle to play at Barboza. Highly recommend going to that show tomorrow night. Diane Coffey, thank you again so much for being here. All of you, thank you so much. That was awesome. And I hope to see you next time here in town. Thank you. All right. Keep it tuned right here to the station where the music matters. 90.3 FM, KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.